Hi, today I want to show you an app to swap faces in video. It's called Roop Unleashed. And how do you get it? The easiest way is to use Pinocchio. I'm not going to the details of Pinocchio. Basically, it's a software where you can find a lot of AI application and install it by one single click. I will put a link in the description. I already installed the application here. And in order to get the group unleashed, you have to go to Discover and Community Scripts here. Then browse to here, you will find group unleashed. Then just click on it, install it. I've got it already installed. I also want to warn you, I had difficulty in installing it. Uh, the first time I got some command fail with the Visual Studio build tools and I couldn't uh, fix it but I found some people saying that I have to in uninstall Visual Studio and install it manually. I did some of them and at the end I even reinstalled my Pinocchio with the latest version 2.15.1 and somehow it's working now. So, but I don't want to go to the details. Otherwise, the video would be too long. Let's start the uh, loop unleashed. Loop unleashed has started and you can run it from a web server or just run it directly from Pinocchio. Here I've got the user interface in Pinocchio. Let's get the video first. So my video, I've got a AI generated image and I use Minimax High Law to generate five second video. So let's drag and drop the video. This has to go to this box, target files here. Then you will see the preview here. Here is a slide for the progress of the video and face warp frames so we can preview the frame. And now we need the input face, the source face. I've got some from my previous video from the deep face live. You may have seen the video b before I did that not long ago. How about here, Elvis Presley? Okay, now you can see my source image is here. Now I need to pick the target face because there are two faces. I have to specify which face I'm going to replace. Now I click on the use face from this frame then come down here, it will show you two faces from the frame. I want this one, so click on it. Then I need to click on use the selected face here. So you can see here target face is here and here is the input face. Now I click on the input face. You can go to the terminal and see the messages just in case there is an error or something like that. Go back to the interface here. Okay, now I hope you can recognize this Elvis Presley here. If I move to another frame, so you can see the face has been replaced. Now what can I do is also to replace this face at the same time. So I need to go down here, select this one, click on use selected face. And now I need a female face. Let's go to here. I've got one already prepared. Also AI generated. Now I need to put into source faces here. Okay. Now two faces. Let's try it. Refresh. Okay. You can see now it's a, an Asian face. As you can see, it's not perfect. The eyes here, the left eye of the girl, 
looks a little bit weird. So if you want to swap face, avoid uh, in this uh, angle. Okay, now let's go down here and try to render the file. Okay, looks like it's done. Let's open the output folder. So you can see there's a mp4 file here. Let's start it and run. So you can see the faces are replaced. Not too bad. If I want to keep the result, I have to move it to somewhere. Otherwise it would be deleted on the next run. Let me move it to here. At the moment, the face swap is basically based on a single image. So sometimes when it starts moving, it's losing the character's face. The other thing you can do is you can provide more images to create a face set. Go to face management here. And you have to put the input files here. So let's go to my files here. I've got some faces prepared. These are the faces from 2018. I extracted from a video and I was using this for deep fake. So I've got many different angles. So let's pick some of them. Okay, I have just uploaded 12 images here and the faces are some from the front and some from the side. So let's create the face set. Okay, it was done. Open the output folder. Now you can see here is the face set file. If I do leave it there, I will lose it. I have to move it to somewhere else. This time I'm going to use this video. Also uh, AI generated image and I swap the face for a single image and use the high rod to generate the video. But you can see as soon as the video progressed, uh, it's losing the character, so it doesn't look like me anymore. It's getting become too young. Okay, now let's see if we can fix it with the face swap on the video. So let's put the video here and select the face. I want to use this face and use selected face. So you can see the face is here. Now I'm going to put my face set instead of one single image. So there's a preview of the face set. Now refresh it. The other thing is, uh, at the moment it looks a little bit blurry. I can put a post-processing here. I'm using the restore former. So see how it's getting better. Yeah, I think it is sharper than before. It's much better now. Uh, okay, now it's really good because it can keep the character Okay, the last thing I want to show you is the live cam here. So let's click on it. And I'm going to put down the resolution because my GPU is not powerful enough. So let's start it. Okay, now you can see the frame rate is terrible. I think it's one frame per second. I don't know, it's a little bit... Uh, I have done a video about the deep face live software and I think that one is a little bit faster. I'm not too sure. I think I got four, four frames per second. This one is really slow. But this one is quite easy to use. Okay, now I've turned off the post-processing. So it seems the frame rate is a little bit better. And uh, let me try something. How about using a female face here? Put it here. 
Now I need to move the face to the left. Okay, now turn all the cam and restart it. Okay, now you can see this is a female face, but you can see the chin doesn't fit into my face somehow. My face is much longer. It's a problem. Let me try something else. How about put on some. I hope you had a little bit fun. Technically, I still can forward the stream to a virtual camera, then I can run it on any teleconference. But I think the frame rate is so low that I, had, I am not going to try. Although it's still November, I wish you a Merry Christmas. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Well, there are more videos to watch. Or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video.